right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeff. We're here on some Warzone 2 solos. Rocking the Atlanta Phase jersey, bright red. I love the bright red on this. It notifies them that I'm a problem. I got everything on the lowest quality, and it still looks good. So after playing a little bit more uh, in solos, not that much more, to be honest with you, a few games, but after playing some more solos, uh, I wish I could look at my loadouts in this lobby here, or even select them or whatever, the way that it worked in Warzone 1, so I could show everybody my class names. But there's a few things that definitely should be changed in solos. Like, for example, one of the obvious ones would be the 2v2 gulag in solos I, I just just don't agree with it i understand that it is kind of designed for two players in terms of its size and everything i wish that there were more ways to get uavs although like the thing is i feel weird talking about uavs on this game because i don't even necessarily completely understand how the buy system works in this game to a degree can't tell if certain things are features or bugs it's really, really difficult, and a lot of it hasn't really been communicated, and we haven't gotten a ton of patch notes to let us know which ones are and aren't, like, intentional or not. Like, to assume that if they don't talk about it as a bug, or it's not on their Trello board, then we kind of might assume that it might be a feature. And then that makes you wonder, like, are they insane or not? I also think sniper rifles should one-shot headshot. Maybe not at, like, a million, you know, meters away, but, like, maybe, like, the heavy-duty sniper rifles can one-shot headshot. Yeah, also, can we fix the crashing? I don't even have it overclocked. You saw over on multiplayer, I'm running almost 3,000 megahertz. This shit is, it's running cool, maximum fan speed. What did I do wrong? Check it out. I got the Callisto protocol downloaded and ready. Um, here's the thing. Some people might be disappointed in this. I, I also kind of like, I feel bad, but at the same time, I still don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I am honestly afraid to play the game. People have seen me get too comfortable playing things like the dark pictures where, yeah, I still get scared, but there's a lot of downtime in those games. These games games are full-blown stress the entire time. There's no jokes to be made half the time. It's awful. Your senses are just constantly burdened with so much anxiety and shit. These types of games like Resident Evil and other stuff like that, which I, I've played a good amount, but you guys already know I lose my shit. Calista Protocol is literally, if you haven't seen gameplay previously, first of all, look up their trailer or anything else that they've released about it, but it's from the same people that did Dead Space. Sledgehammer. Those guys also worked on multiple Call of Duties. These guys were the heads of Sledgehammer games, and then they left like years ago. We, we talked about this in videos. If you were around in the Call of Duty community before Warzone and shit like that, you know all this stuff. And those guys have been pretty cool to me. Sledgehammer and all of those dudes over there have been way more transparent than even Treyarch, and especially Infinity Ward. They have always been more transparent, and I know, you know, people aren't the biggest fans of all of their games, but I appreciated the transparency from them, even if a lot of the changes didn't make it. Instead of just like this silent thing where it just feels like, am I crazy for even complaining about it? They recognize and validate a lot of these uh, things, and that goes a very, very long way in buying hope for the game. So I heard that the game is actually like 12 to 14 hours long. Um, I cannot make like 10 videos on the Callisto Protocol. This is also the reason why I didn't do a whole bunch of like God of War gameplays and playthroughs and stuff like that. They're like, why didn't you do it? Potential game of the year, and it, back in 2018, game of the year. Why didn't you do a thing on it? Even Santa Monica Studios replied to me and were asking me to make a full-blown playthrough, or at least multiple videos in the style that I did the first one, where basically it's just a bunch of highlights of it and then just and then just commentary with it. Not like a full-blown walkthrough, playthrough, hours and hours of footage of me walking in circles through the darkness, stumbling through, trying to figure out where all the items are and shit. Now I'm like torn on how to actually do it. I could absolutely just make one video on it, be one and done. Day one, right there at night, I could sit there and play, edit anything together and then just throw out a video and just be done with it forever. But I want to actually beat the game myself. So like there's going to be multiple highlights lights. So then I could be like multiple days late. I, I don't know, man. I know obviously people are going to be like, nah, the more the merrier, make all the videos long and drawn out and all this other shit. Like I'm just, after a while, I just know what is and isn't watchable. And watching me stumble around on part 32 of God of War is just not it, man. I'm sorry. The viewer fatigue is real. Because even the streamers and other people that I love watching all the time, I could not sit there and watch all the way through, through every single part. It's too long. It's too much. It's like trying to keep up with Red Dead Redemption. That's not a downside to it. I'm just saying as a viewer, and as a creator, by the time we get to part five, some people are going to be done with it. <laughs> I miss. I'm a bum. I am such a bum. Aim assist is making me overconfident. I really do think I don't have to aim at all. I, I, I'm constantly like trapped in a corner on these games. It's so weird. This guy's microphone is so goddamn loud. 
kill him already. How is he sitting here fighting him that whole time? I walk over, kill one dude, walk over, kill the other dude. Oh wait, I got a plan. Got a player chopper or enemy chopper? Did he drop somebody off? What the fuck? Is this guy still inside of this building? I mean, all I have is a pistol to go and fight him. He might be, he might not. Let's take a look. I watched somebody come in here. I'm not crazy. I watched somebody. Yeah, I need to figure out where like all of those are. Oh my god, I got fried. I, I just, I didn't have three plates. Nothing I could do. I guess he heard me well before I heard him. That's crazy. Guy heard me well before I heard him. I got like Dolby surround sound fucking 8.1, 17.3, 8D audio. It, it doesn't matter. I did not hear him. I did not hear that guy at all. Unless he was just sitting there listening for me. I, I don't, I don't know. I have, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't hear him at all. I don't know why he had the jump on me. Well, I guess I know why I was moving and he wasn't, I, I guess. Yeah, so I still don't know what I'm going to do with Callisto Protocol. I know a lot of people are going to tell me they want me to have like, you know, the long videos and just spam them they don't care but viewer fatigue is real even with like fully developing stories where like it's literally just story shit like you know the dark pictures after a while you see part five in your box but you haven't watched part two three or four yet so it's like imagine when i'm on part 20 so a part of me wants to like play through the whole thing and then just like make one mega video of like all of the parts but i can't promise myself or you guys that i would actually even play through the whole thing with just finding every excuse not to play anyway yeah buff sniper headshots i think at least a heavy duty sniper rifle should be able to like one shot headshot within 60 meters or whatever the meters was over in Warzone 1. Personally, I wouldn't mind if it was full map, but a part of me does feel a little bit safer when I do get the three plate and I'm like, well, at least I won't be one shot headshotted randomly. So I could just sit here. More UAVs. We can't even figure out what is and is an intended way to get a UAV in this thing. It's weird. It like refreshes on the circle things. But then sometimes you can get multiple UAVs when you go and buy like a bunch of plates and stuff. It'll like replenish and randomly resupply. It's really, really weird. Strafe speeds, any help at all. 1v1 gulags, dog shit. And the bomb drone is obviously overpowered as fuck. Apparently YouTube is down right now. Is it? No, it seems to be loading for me fine. Dude, God of War's intro is so strong that it was so easy to make the one video on the release day. That God of War video is one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Love that shit. I should get all the cutscenes for uh, God of War Ragnarok and then just watch them. Okay, well, the game crashed. Yeah, I mean, oh, the game still needs some work. I don't know why I'm expecting it to change overnight, but okay. We'll, we'll wait for like the mid-season update or something. Holy shit. Okay, sorry for trying to play. Uh...